Howdy fellas! After the king size 2GB update, the developers as usual try to fix everything they've already fixed, only to fix it again, and release small CS2 updates one after another. And the main and incredible thing is that in CS2, the anti-cheat system seems to be starting to work. Surprise, motherfucker! Earlier, the developers added a wing icon to the kill feed for the kills made while jumping, which, by the way, started a challenge in the community to get the longest kill feed line. In this CS2 update, they removed the wings from the grenade kills. Too bad. Valve continues to experiment with realism in Counter-Strike 2, this time affecting the C4 animation in water. Take a look. What's really useful is the fix for keyboard issues where some players' keyboards would stop responding when opening the buy menu or match statistics, as well as when voting for a map at the end of the match. In this CS2 update, they optimized demo recording playback and fixed a large number of commands, reducing the rewind time by 80%. The game will no longer kick you back to the main menu after watching a demo as it used to. It's a real celebration for the handy guys from the Steam Workshop. They've been given the ability to upload custom maps for the arms race mode. From the cosmetic side, they fixed a bug that displayed regular gloves in the main menu even if you had specific skins equipped. And now, the most delicious part, the anti-cheat system. Just before the update, Valve decided to fire a shot from a loaded gun on April 25 and 26. Specifically, a new reason for match suspension was added, stating that Back had detected gameplay violations. As it turns out, Back detects suspicious player behavior and sends them to a temporary 24-hour ban along with their lobby friends. And if I understand that correctly, all this should be sent to the patrol and a decision should be made within 24 hours. In general, Valve launched some kind of a plugin that detects suspicious behavior in the game, but it's not clear how it works. It won't be hard to catch ragers, but what about legitimate cheaters? It's unclear. But Valve would not be Valve if everything worked even slightly right and trouble fell out of blue. Users started reporting the first cases of match cancellation due to irregular gameplay. This happens in the first few rounds, and accounts are kicked into 24-hour ban. As always, to not this on a sand now let's see what's going on in the Chinese Counter-Strike, where they clearly don't care about cheaters or common sense. Now hit the like button, subscribe, follow us on every social media and watch me streaming on Twitch. That's it for now folks, I should get going.